In this video, we're going to take a look at a hashing program within Backtrack 5. It's going to allow us to take a hash of a file or a partition or an entire drive if we choose to. So what we're going to do is just click open up on Applications. We'll go to Backtrack, we'll go to Forensics, and there you'll find the Forensics Hashing Tools. Now all of these tools here are pretty much related, and so I'm going to go ahead and pick the one tool that I can run everything from pretty easy. It's called HashDeep. And what we're going to do is you'll see here in the arguments for HashDeep, we can pretty much pick any of the algorithms that we want. We've got the MD5, the SHA-1, 256, Tiger, and Whirlpool that we can actually run to pull a hash off of. By default, MD5 and SHA-256 are the choices. And so just if we ran this application without any arguments, it's going to go ahead and pull an MD5 and a SHA-256 hash for us. And we can, of course, run the Tiger or the Whirlpool if we want with the dash C argument. So what we're going to do is I'll run an fdisk command with a dash L and it's just going to tell me what the disks are because we're going to take a hash of an entire partition and here we go. This is a Windows partition that I've got uh, that we're going to go ahead and take a hash of and it's SDC1, device SDC1. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a, a hash of that entire partition that we've got. Now if I look back at my arguments, the one that I really care about uh, when I'm running this more than anything else now is just how long it's going to take. Depending on the size of the drive, it may take a few minutes to run. So the dash E is kind of a nice little timing device that they've got in here to give us the time that we've got left. Left, and you can look through the other hashes uh, or the other arguments that we've got in the hashes. You can find something that you may like. Um, if you're doing an entire folder and you want all the files to be hashed, the dash R for the recursive mode is a good option. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the just the dash E argument when I run this particular one. So I'll just go ahead and run the hash deep the dash E argument and now the device that I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and do DEV SDC1 and what I'm going to do is um, instead of rather than just the hashes being printed on the screen here I'm going to go ahead and output them to a text file. So I'll just go ahead and output this to the root desktop and a text file that I'm just going to call hashes and dot txt and that's going to go ahead and put those hashes that it calculates in that file. So I'll go ahead and hit enter and what you're going to see here is the file was created and so now it's going to run through. It's telling me that I've got 20 minutes 17. You're going to see that it's counting down pretty quickly. We'll just let this run until it finishes and then I'll come back here on the video. It only took a few minutes to run this uh, hard drive which is a little over a 20 gig hard drive. And so we've got a, now a text file that shows up here. So let's go ahead and double click on it just to see what we've got. And it tells us here basically what we've done. We basically ran the hash deep uh, command and then we, what we've got here is the first part of this is going to be the size of the drive and then what we've got here now is the MD5 hash and we've got the SHA-256 hash and then we've also got right here we've actually got the location of the device or partition that we actually took a partition of and so they kind of list that right there for us to take a look at. So this is basically running the hash deep application just to take a hash in both the MD5 and the SHA-256 of a either a file, uh, a folder with other files if we use a recursive, partition, or an entire drive if we choose to. And we can also run the other types of hashes, the other algorithms as well, just from the hash deep application.